Hello people, it's Awakened Sheeple, and I'm making another video, and this one is on Three Days of Darkness. In a parable, he says that it is very real. What's going to happen, it's going to be like marital law or martial law, but it's going to be martial law, and it's man's law, and it's man's law because that's what man worships, it's man's law. So they're going to get what they've been asking for, and... We're not going to have to follow that code. So thank God for that. What is coming is... Oh, it's so big and it's a whole bunch of different things. And everybody has different puzzle pieces. And keys and words. And some of it's truth and some of it's, you know, people's fears. And they need to put into order the sequence of things that are going to happen so they're exactly ready at the right time and they're worried about it. And what I'm hearing is, don't worry, you're going to be exactly where you're supposed to be when the time comes. So, if you pray to him and ask him to make this possible, he'll put you where you need to be. Just ask him. Um, that's how I learn, is by asking him everything. Um, this video is Three Days of Darkness, but it's a little bit more, so I'm going to just speak what it is upon my mind. In a parabolic sense of what's in the Bible, the re the representation, the direct representation, and what he's going to do, it's going to be like Exodus, you know, where Three Days of Darkness was on Egypt. It's going to be Three Days of Darkness like for the entire world. That's the difference. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be bigger. He says it in the book in many places. What in the la in those days, you know, and it's all right there if you if you ask the Lord. I mean, if you just pick up the book and start reading, I don't know what kind of learner you are, but it makes absolutely no sense to me. And I have to go directly to him for everything. So he's been teaching me so much. And the three days of great or of darkness. It's going to be martial law that, that comes with this darkness. And it's going to be the institution of man's laws. If you're found outside, like after, once it gets dark, if you're out messing around, they will shoot you to kill you on sight. And they won't even talk to you. Because um, you're supposed to know during martial law, be in your house or whatever. And you're going to have to follow the laws of man at that time. Unless you're found in Christ. And then you're you're immune to whatever it is that's coming. But the truth in everybody's message, the truth in wholeness and fullness, the truth in there is you distill it down to the root. You know, and how deep is that root planted? Well, it's planted all the way back in the very beginning of the book. So it's truth. It's right there. And if you bring it forward and apply it today in a state of speaking, Everybody's message is revolving around the same single truth. The body of Christ is like one giant antenna. And everybody's picking up on the same messages. And when you see that, and you add one and one, normal people come to two. Okay? Now, in my dreams, the Lord's teaching me ABCs and stuff. Now, I don't even know what that means, really. Except I thought, you know, I was like, really? Teach? I mean, I was seeing A, B, C... And like what these things mean. And I had to learn the ABCs. So the message is it is real. It's coming. Stay in your house. Have enough food and water and oil for three days or whatever. You don't need to overstock if you trust the Lord. Just be prepared for the basics. But the overall message is and was is bless your house like the, like um, they did when they marched around the walls of Jericho and they came tumbling down. You know that's the same thing you need to do in your house. Bless your oil. The Lord will bless it. You know once you ask Him, if you ask Him in honesty, then you anoint your your doorways and your windows and you anoint yourself and pray to be found within your place of worship when He comes a calling. And he'll make it possible for you to be there at that time. I mean, just to have no worries and be found waiting and wanting him when he does come calling. That is three days of darkness. 
there's a spirit of destruction that's going to fly over the land. And anybody that's found outside, you know, taking things that don't belong to them, like in a major catastrophe, they're just going to shoot these people on sight. They're going to shoot to kill. There will be no mercy in the land as, as the love of man waxes cold. There will be no mercy. There will be no mercy. And during these three days of darkness, it's like an uh, obvious weakness. And if you look at the art of war, that's what's coming. The art of war. The enemy is going to use it against America. So you're going to see foreign troops soon. Period. End of story. It's not conjecture. It's not debatable. It's in the word of God. And if you ask him, he'll show you the truth. I've seen right out my back window what's going to happen in Denver. I know, already know what's coming. And everybody's preaching the same thing. And in their own location, they're seeing what's coming for their location. So when you're hearing these preachers or whatever on the East Coast talking about tsunami, 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 well, that's probably because that's in their area and that's what's going to affect them. What I see in Denver are bombs. That's my area. That's what's going to affect me. Um, I see people running in terror, screaming, my babies, my babies. And that's three days of darkness right there. They're going to be in three days of darkness with the terror of God put upon them. And what happens is those that are godless will have the spirit of God removed. The grace, the love, his love is going to be like removed. And they're going to have to prove it in a later date that they love him, that they're willing to die for him. That's what the saints is all about. The elect, we don't have to worry about that. I mean, if you've been running around saying, I want to be a saint, I want to be a saint, you're going to get your wish. Your eyes are going to be closed and you're going to become a saint. And that means you have to lose your head for the word of God. Now, if you're of the elect, the bride, you'll know it. He'll tell you. You won't have to worry. I thought it prudent when I was told to not worry about it, that I was a part of that group. I was like, well, Jesus, um, since you're, you know, like inviting me, shouldn't I know your family? And that's when I started meeting like John the Baptist and these other people. Uh, I just met a couple of days ago, the Mother Mary, you know, three or four days ago or something. But, you know, it's just a simple, beautiful woman sitting there. And as soon as I see her, the Lord says, that is my mother. And so I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? And thank you for showing me your mother. And I apologize if I ever said anything bad about your family. And... <laughs> It's an awesome honor to meet you, that kind of a thing, you know. So I, I got to got to meet the family that you know you we're gonna be a part of. And they're good people. I mean, you won't meet better people. They're all in white and that's that. Three days of darkness and it's real. Uh, you look at all the keys and words and, and the significance in the book that he placed at that point. It, it's brought forward again, and everything happens again and again. So I love each and every single one of you, and I can't wait to meet you on the other side. May you go with the blessings of the Lord, and in his name, amen.